everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Bulldog's entrance here, what a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. Tiger's coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. the great historic moments in the sport and many times you think about the one single big punch that finished a great fight he's the kind of fighter that can do that here tonight yeah and more importantly than that yeah he has the power but there's been other guys Ernie Shavers had great power he never won the heavyweight title you have to have a trick to get it to the target when it's most needed like Rocky Marciano against Ezra Charles you know Marciano had very little time left his nose was split and the ref was gonna stop the Bulldogs dazed after that punch Kenny I think he's gonna go down I think he's gonna go down after getting tagged right there he doesn't know where to go I mean... solid oh right off the bat he goes down round number one and he's on the floor came out a little careless and he paid a price Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Downstairs with a right hand. Tiger's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Not able to land the headshot. Tiger's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye, on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Bulldog's not just loading up. And just like that, big, oh, a big shot comes home for him. Kenny, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. One, two... I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Solid left hand to the head. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. This round comes to an end. Tigers, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. That's a nice right hand that time by Bulldog. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Well off the mark by Bulldog. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Stay on the inside. 
90 seconds to go here in this round. Keep moving. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. All offense by Tiger. Blow up top. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Able to land with the right. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by Bulldog. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. End of the round. If you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that- What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you gotta put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not gonna let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. How about that bombs away to the head by Tiger? Oh, he just misses with that headshot. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Halfway through this round here. Locks it away. Upstairs. All right, listen, stop waiting on it. All right? You're waiting on it. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what you're doing. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and keep it there. Shorten your punches up. You came here to work, right? Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Bulldog's putting on a show through three rounds. Start of round four. He's up two rounds to one according to your scorecard, but as we've seen, this is a little bit of an elevator fight. Both men have been up and down. Yeah, and that's good for him because he knows where he's strong and he knows where he's vulnerable. How about that left right there? Tiger's got things going on his side. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? situation like this, but many do. 
He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Tiger's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Solid right by Bulldog. Halfway through round number four. Wow, what an uppercut. Bulldog's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Tiger's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. <laughs> Scores up top with a left. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bulldog. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. And round four comes to an end. Are you Now that he's back in the corner, okay. we get a close-up look. Tiger's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude, as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science Not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch And then when he stops, he steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back well upstairs with the right hand. Bulldog's just employing the strategy of bombs away. Now, I know you saw him go down earlier, but he's trying to finish this fight right now himself. Now, I know this will sound a little crazy, but sometimes in this situation, that's a fight at giving in a little bit because he's going kamikaze. You know, if he doesn't catch you, he goes right into the deck of that aircraft carrier. Good solid right hand by Bulldog. Oh. Right to the belt line. Bulldog's right hand scores well. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's, he used distance. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Bulldogs tagged! And that's the end of round five. Yeah, this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. Targeting that overhand left. Using those feet, using that jab on the outside well. And you know what? He used his head early in the fight because he went inside, which is really where he's set up for, and he got his opponent's respect. And now that respect is paying off because he's being allowed to stay on the outside and control things. Relax, relax. <laughs> Tiger's fighting real smart here on the outside. Oh, what a whiff by Bulldog. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Good flush shot upstairs. Tiger's left landing well. Scored well up top. Big, big shot by Bull. There it is! How is he gonna survive this once again?
again he hits the deck. He's gonna have to find a way. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Bulldog's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, like what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Tiger's right hand scores well that time. And round six comes to an end. Bulldogs' health, welfare, and safety has been greatly compromised now that that eye is shut closed. Nice strike after catching one by Tiger. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That right hand over the top lands flush. Tiger's left working well that time. Right to the head with that right. <laughs> Protecting his head well with his guard. Bulldog's not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counterpunch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who went in to get his hair dyed, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter, and it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I, I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. To the head he goes with a left hand. Keep your head moving! What a power punch he was able to land there. Joe, that's what you call setting up a trap. Not a mouse trap, but a punch trap. Step back a little bit, invited him in, bang! You got power. Use it. As we start round number eight and reflect on this fight, I know your scorecard is dead on accurate. I mean, he should be down big, but both guys have been landing big punches. Bulldog's not out of this fight. Well, that's how a fighter thinks, Joe. If I can hit him, I can get rid of him. And that's what he's saying. I can hit him. I can still get rid of him. Unable to land clean by Bulldog. Bulldog scoring with that right hand. Carries that punch intended for the head. Adelante forward! How about that? Counter shot to the head. Bulldogs now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Nice work. The left hand to the head. <laughs> landed a good solid combination bulldog's punch didn't come close the old one
one-two scores for him. Bulldog's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Right to the body. And round eight comes to an end. This ringside area, Red Teddy. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, it looks like a carnival, but there's nothing funny going on in that ring. Bulldog's really in a groove right now, landing that straight punch. Well, what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance. He's getting his opponent, you know, sort of lean in a little bit, and then, bang, that straight shot is right there. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. Now he's targeting upstairs. Bulldog's gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Zoning in with the overhand left. Uh, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep the body. Oh. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Nice work on the right hand by Bulldog. Move your head. A little head hunting with the left. Bulldog's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Tiger's left now getting into the mix. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Tiger's giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is starting to take away some of that head movement. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. And that's the end of round nine. Bulldog's plan was not supposed to be this result that we're getting here. Now it's later in the fight, and his opponent is still able to score with ease out at range. Well, his corner has to think about doing something drastic here. Taking all these shots, this fight is in danger of being stopped. He's definitely going to lose it anyway. Maybe do something I tried years ago with Mills Lane. Believe it or not, bring him over to the corner, use him a little bit, use the referee, bring him over to the corner and say, listen, if he doesn't change, I want you stopping this fight the next round. This way you put your fighter on notice what's going on. Nice work with the uppercut. Tiger's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. So punch after punch, he keeps taking punishment. Starting to wonder here, Teddy, how much more will he be able to take? You want it to be the inclination of a fighter, in this case a warrior, to go on. But sometimes enough is enough, and you just have to take your losses and come back to fight another day. I believe we've gotten to that point. Able to dismiss it. How about that left hand? How could he possibly get up from that? He's not going to. This fight's over. It's over.